So, there I was, right? Walking down the road into Wagrama in the Eastern Kingdom because I needed to upgrade my Shadow Bolt. And Emily just finished collecting some light leather for Baron Toolstrider. He was making some new fashion clothing for the undead. Oh, something like that. Pet Gareth spotted something and wandered off. Didn't think anything of it until a drudger sneaked up behind me and cast slow. Turn around to see him. He puts a curse on me as well. Takes my health down by 100. Garros by this point had disappeared, so I thought I was on my own with this one. The slow that was on was really bad as well. So I started casting Corruption on him, which took twice as long because of the slow, followed by Fury, and then a couple of Shadow Bolts to finish him off. Got a couple of mana potions for the trouble as well. Oh, and a broadsword as well. Could have waited until I was high level to use it, because I wasn't at the moment, but I figured, oh, I can't be asked. I was going to Thunder Bluff or Under City soon anyway. So, might as well sell it at auction. Easiest way to make a bit of silver. I didn't have enough space in my bags to keep it in there, so I chucked some old leather scraps I've been collecting. They're only taking up room anyway. I was meant to be heading to Under City to meet you, mate, anyway. Uh, Dark Horse 38 in the Under City. So I was going to sell my eyes in the back of you then, anyway. Anyway, he always wanders off without telling me. It can be well annoying sometimes. Kind of like your dad when you go out food shopping and you bug us off to the techie bit with all the TVs. So, there I was, in Undercity, with Dark underscore Horse not there. I figured, well, got nothing to do. Silver Pine Forest was nearby, though. I've got a couple of things to do there. Couldn't be bothered walking, right? But caught a ride with the bat handler instead. It's pretty fast. Only cost 99 bronze as well. I could well afford it. Besides which, by the time I've done a couple of things around here, I've well easily made it back in reward. First things first, though, I had to collect a couple of ingredients for Dalar Dawnweaver, making a remedy. I had to deal with those Moon Rage folk, but oh. And they're so awkward. They never do as they're told. They put up a proper fight as well. They needed some kind of shackles from them for some reason. Um, anyway, six in all, I think it was. They put up quite a bit of a fight. I had to cast a few heal spells, you know. So I went back to the sepulchre. We'll see Dalar. Couldn't be arsed hanging around there any longer. I've just said arse. She gave me a few silver for the trip, it wasn't so bad. Anyway, I couldn't be bothered hanging around there anymore, so I've got to fly back off to the Undercity. So, I talked to this little village called Brill, which is a bit of an ironic name, really, given it's not particularly. Brill, I mean. Never mind. It's got like 20 people or so there. It's only very small. But the one good thing about it is, it's got a link to take you overseas. Normally takes about five minutes. Well, ten. Maybe. So, I get to Duratel. And it's just full of idiots. I couldn't be bothered. Went to Ratchet instead. There were these two guys having a proper scrap outside. One of them was big, like King Kong big. Probably touring the massive. And he was laying into this guy. The funny thing was, this guy was a dwarf. Oh, it was ridiculous the way it looked. I saw these guys for about 10 minutes, and then I realised actually it wasn't that interesting. It was getting late anyway, thought I might as well head home. Moved a few times lately. It's really difficult to find a good place to live. It's either too crowded. Too depressing. Oh, it's just too freaking dangerous. Had a few bits of mail waiting for me when I got back. It's nothing interesting though. Never is. Had to go then anyway. Mum was calling me for tea. 